Into the box now. James McCann looking to Way put to the go. ball in Four play here. Shot. He went down on strikes the in his first at bat. James. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. This guy's been on cruise control as we head into the middle innings of this one. And one of the big factors why, how about 80% of his first pitches have been for strikes? Out in front there as this one's pulled off to the left side. Here's Kershaw with another 0 2. Hard hit ball to second. Alomar has it. Throw on to first in time, one away. Now at the plate, Daniel Polka. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Ooh, I'm shocked he took that pitch right there. That ain't plus 90s right there. That's mid to low 90s fastball in the honey hole. I'm surprised he didn't pull the trigger on that one. The ball and two strikes. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. The better Stepping up to the plate, four. Brandon Geyer. Brandon. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Geyer. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. Well, he's done a great job on the hill throughout this game, and it's something to be proud of anytime you can pitch a good game in this ballpark, especially when it's not your home ballpark. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. Ready for another shot now. Ricky Henderson he comes in two for three with a couple of home runs thus far on his line. Number 24. Third baseman in tight protecting the bunt, the first pitch. And he'll start the inning with a pitch that misses off the plate. It's ball one. And that misses low and inside. Two balls and no strikes. Now the 2 0. Out into right center. Well hit. He takes the turn and heads for second. And he is in the second base with a double. His third hit this afternoon. Now in the box, Roberto Alomar. He was retired via the ground ball the last time up. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him successful. You know, guys, sometimes guys don't like pulling the trigger. Oh, oh, they want to see something go by, calibrate the speed, calibrate the break, and then make their adjustments off that. Maybe that's the case right here. Uh, and that's going to fall, a base hit. And they'll put the brakes on at third. Runners at the corners with nobody out. The third base ball. Ready Manny. once again, Manny Machado. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. First pitch of the at bat. Took a little off, and it's in for a called strike one. Behind 0 and 2 now. Runners are at first and third with none out. Here's a little chopper up the middle. And indeed, he'll take only the out at first as the run comes in to score. So digging in now, Adrian Gonzalez. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. No balls and a strike to count. Ready with the 0-1. Fly ball out toward left center field. Geyer over to his right. Two down. Digging in to try it again. Cody Bellinger. Runner in like scoring three. position with Sogon. Bellinger. Here comes the first pitch. 
And that misses ball one. Listen, I'm not trying to make up an excuse, but this is this guy's fifth inning of work in this game out of the bullpen. Are you kidding me? Nobody goes five innings anymore. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. And the off-balance throw gets him as he takes away a hit, and the side is retired. So coming to the plate, Yomer Sanchez. He'll get things started here in the second half of the sixth. First delivery to him on the way. And a good fastball there, but this just misses the zone for ball one. The 1-1. One, one. Waves and misses for strike number two. That's one two pitch is a slider that misses two and two. Into the windup, here comes the two two pitch. And he struck him out. So double please. digits now, 10 strikeouts for him thus far. Number Wellington 21. Castillo will Wellington. move into the on deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. And that swung on and missed for strike one. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ball game. Now so the lineup flips over and stops. digging in yeah. Tim Anderson. First two Anderson. men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out. So we'll see if he can fare any better. Kershaw gets the sign. 0 1 on its way. Ah. Bottom part of the zone. A good changeup gets the call. He's looking really great on the bump right now. I mean, it's been a while since he's allowed a base runner, and he just jumped ahead of another hitter right there. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And he got another one here. He strikes out the side. He set down five in a row via the punch out, and the inning is over. Back here on the south side of Chicago. This one pretty much all over, but the shouting as we check our game summary to see how we've gotten to where we are. Aaron Bummer comes on to pitch now, now hoping for better for results shot. than the other arms Number that they've 39. run out there in this one. Aaron. in Cal Ripken last time through was a base hit first pitch coming here it is fastball taken but that gets the zone for a strike lofted in the air out toward right center Geyer on the move he gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Digging the in, bat. Jason Hayward. It was an RBI Jason. single for him in his last plate appearance. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. First offering to him stays upstairs. It's a ball and no strikes. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Garcia on the move. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Now, now with the plate, Russell Kevin. Martin. 0 for Russell. 2 with a walk for him so far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And a called strike down in the zone. Nothing in one. Fastball and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. Hey this boy ain't messing around right now attacking his own showing a lot of confidence in his stuff. He's got two quick outs and now he's got this guy down 0 2 fouled off. The next 0 2. 
hit on the ground down the first baseline. But this will wind up foul. Still 0-2. Interesting pitch selection right there. In off the plate. Not too many pitchers in the game want to go. Hit high and deep to left field. Garcia looking up. Boom goes the dynamite. Digging in, Clayton Kershaw. And an opportunity here for a fourth plate appearance here this afternoon. And you have to say, he's really earned it. First pitch of the at-bat. And he'll take strike one on the fastball, registering at 93 that time. A swing and a ground ball to third. And Kershaw has a base hit. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Ricky Henderson. Two home runs and a double to his credit thus far, having quite the game. First offering on its way. Below the knees, one ball, no strikes. Runs outside, so it goes to 2-0 oh now. Now this is the kind of count this guy feeds on at the plate. You can bet he's geared to hit the fastball right here. Aye. Lays off a fastball, but it's over for a strike. Two and one. Hey, you get 2-0, your eyes light up. But you're sitting in one spot, and he obviously didn't get it right there. Hangs on him a bit that time as it's belted out toward deep center field. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. Now at the plate, Leury Garcia, who was a strikeout victim his first trip and then collected a base hit his last time around. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Out in front here is this one scorched foul to the left. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this is a foul ball. When you have two strikes on you, as a hitter, if you get something that you can handle, you have to find a way to do some damage with it. That was a missed opportunity. To two balls and two strikes now. And it's late to his afternoon of work, and the longer this at bat goes, the better chance of him making a mistake. But as a guy starts to tire, they're more likely to leave the ball up. But man, he's been good so far. Got him. As he just continues to mow down these hitters, 13 strikeouts now. First baseman. Now with the plate, Jose Abreu. He struck out and flied out. 0 for 2 so far. He'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. Man, this guy has retired a whole slew right now. I think what he needs to do is just stay focused and keep attacking the game plan like he has up to this point because everything he's done has worked. And he fouls this one off. The one two. A swing and this ball is blasted to right field. Nothing's going to keep this one in the ballpark. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. Third base. He's ready. Here's the first Go offering. On. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. Breaking ball below the zone. That's ball one. And he swings and pops it foul behind the plate. Martin moving to his left. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Classic change of speeds right there. Threw the hitter's timing off. Got a late foul ball. Interested to see where he goes now. Struck him out and make it 14 punch outs now in the game. Kershaw into the windup. First pitch on the way. A high fastball is in there. You know, if I'm the hitter right here, I'm like, okay. You want to come get some early in the count? I was about to wait you out, but now game on. Here's Kershaw's 0-2 offering. And he's got another one. 15 strikeouts in the ball game, and the side is retired. Standing in, Roberto Alomar. He's two for four in the ball game. The second baseman. 